can call them let to get the opportunity to talk about this very important on this very important motion here tonight and um, uh, because it is uh, important for people living in in rural areas and maybe not so so much rural rural places and like Deputy McSharry said it in his speech. Um, it, was, it, it was a fact that uh, the Gadi were very effective when they were living in in the local community, and indeed, uh, in 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 many instances, the, a house was provided uh, locally for the sergeant to live in. Indeed, there was one in Kilgarvan up until very recent times, and and then even. That was sold, and, and, and the garden station was closed. And you see, even go back a generation, um, uh, the Gadi helped people uh, in times of uh, when pressure was on them to save here or to save turf, and in that time off, help uh, a widow woman or help someone like my grandmother, who her uh, husband was disabled. Uh, to, to save the turf and even bring out the turf and uh, in that time off. And you see, they had a whole lot of local knowledge and they accrued that uh, visiting uh, people, maybe sick people or whatever, and uh, having the cup of tea and, and, and uh, wandering around from place to place. And, and like, um, they, there wasn't a thing they didn't know about uh, hap that happened in that parish, but they, they understood it. Um, and, and they, they, they accrued an awful lot of valuable information. However, now rural places are, are, are very lonely now uh, and desolated at, at night. And as a result of the recent uh, laws that were passed here, and I, I'm sad to say that all the parties here uh, either abstained, they have some abstained, and, 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 and more of them voted against. Uh, more of them voted for Minister Ross's uh, bill. And what this has meant now that roads are totally desolated from rural places uh, from 7 or 8 o'clock at night. And they're open to criminals and vandals and thieves and robbers because before, if there was a fellow going for the point or two, he'd see something, he'd see someone. Now there's no one out because they're afraid to go out. They, 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 they're like rabbits now in a burrow, ba barely peeping out now and then because uh, they, they're afraid of being popped if, if they go out. And uh, I think it's a, it's a waste of gather resources. I challenged the Taoiseach and the, and, and the, minister, the senior minister for justice a few weeks ago as to why they were directing the Gandhi because it is across all the divisions. And not alone now, uh, they were, uh, at that particular day, I, I, I asked why were people being checked going to Mass? Uh, they're actually being checked coming out of Mass now. And, 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 and that's the truth, it has happened. And people that never drank have been checked and, and, and are angry about this because uh, even going to school uh, with children in the morning, mothers are being stopped, people that never drank. And people generally are so angry uh, all across the, 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 the constituency about what, what has happened that was totally unnecessary and uh, totally wrong what has happened, and it has changed rural Ireland uh, and, and, and rural places forever because uh, they don't have the transport uh, in the morning or, or at night that, that they have in urban places and, and in cities here like Dublin. Yeah. And, and um, yeah. that, that, that's, that's what has happened, and I believe uh, that gather resources would be much uh, more uh, uh, productive if they were directed, uh, uh, we'll say, uh, we had our chief superintendent this week, Tom Moyer, saying that there's drugs in every town and village in Kerry. And I wonder, has it anything to do with the fact that the garden stations in Lark and uh, Sneem have been closed and that there's vast stretches of our coastline even along the Khmer River they're open now to, to I believe, to, to, and, and, and many others believe, to the uh, bringing in of drugs into our county. Uh, and, and, and maybe that is why, and maybe, the, maybe there should be more emphasis 
place than that because it's sad to see uh, mothers and fathers bringing up their children and, uh, and they, they can uh, they, they, they do everything they can for them and send them to college and, and everything and, and, and then to think that some of them and too many of them get involved or get drugs and they're too much available. We should be, we should and could do more to, to prohibit and, and, and prevent uh, that serious uh, scenario that's taking place, like uh, Chief Superintendent Tom Meyer said, in every village and town in our, in our county. Um, the, it is a fact that it's a constant fear and concern uh, about the threat of criminal activity is emerging as a, a persistent feature in rural life. There is a significant underreporting of incidents, uh, incidences of rural crime, crime. And the growing number of uh, amount of fire machinery and, 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 and diesel oil and, and, and heating oil that's been stolen, and it is a fact that, that it's nearly impossible now and, and uh, to, to take care of an oil tank. Uh, you, you, it's, it's, it's more often than not uh, being hit by these, these people and, and, and taking uh, their, their heating oil that they so, so, badly, so badly need. Um, the cost of legal aid, uh, like uh, has been said already, ranged in the last six or seven years from 49 million to 58 million. And it is sad to think that the same villains that, that get legal aid in one instance, two instances, or three instances, still get it no matter if they, if they have 40 instances. And in many cases they do. And Minister, I'm asking you to look at this. And, and, and again to look at the bail laws where people who, who do uh, commit crime and who are in, uh, waiting for, 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 for court cases are out in bail and they think nothing of carrying out another atrocious crime. And, and uh, if we kind of look at the statistics, they actually uh, carry out worse uh, crimes as... Um, as, 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 as they go on, uh, because they know they're going to get all this legal aid, and um, it's, uh, it's no bother to them, to them at all, and, and, and it's no bother to them as well going to jail, because, you know, they learn how to do worse things when they go in there, and I, 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 I firmly believe that many of these people that are, are serial offenders, the key, the, the key, they should be locked up and throw away the key for a very, very long time, see what they ever see uh, since and, and understand what they have done. I especially want to thank our community alerts and text alerts, uh, these people who do so much great work for communities uh, with the little funding they get. And, and yes, I will thank uh, this government and previous governments for, for giving a bit of funding, uh, however small it is, because these people do, do su such uh, tremendous work with what they get, and they, 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 they're the only, uh, they, they provide uh, a, a sense of uh, confidence to, 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 the, to, the, to the elderly people in rural communities. And, and Minister, I will just, just give you one incident, in, uh, case of how one elderly man is living at the present time. He lives in a long uh, and he can see the minute a car turns from his kitchen window, he can see the car the minute it turns in his Bohri. But the very minute it does, he gets out and goes into an outhouse across the way so that he, he won't be inside the house if his raiders are intruders because he got caught once. And he'll wait until he sees through a peephole in his outhouse to see who has arrived in the yard. And if it's someone he doesn't know, he goes out the back door of that house, outhouse and down the fields behind the bushes. That's how that person is living. That's not how it should be. And I feel that the closure of the garden stations, taking him out, taking him out of local communities, has has affected 
uh, people like this has uh, taken their confidence. And you see, we, we, we'll all agree about one thing, if the incidence of crime and rural crime is increasing, that means more people are being hit because uh, so many people have left rural places. So if the, the, if the amount of criminal activity is increasing, they're hurting uh, more, more, more people because the numbers have declined in, in many of the, the you, places that, 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 that we represent. So I, I'm asking you, Minister, disappointed that he, he, he have a counter motion to our motion because I don't see anything wrong in it. And there's one other thing that I must just raise to John Cole, uh, where, where trespass laws, eh, we need to eh, strengthen the, the, the trespass laws and the rights of farmers and landowners to protect their property and their person. It well, is a fact that that, that uh, these uh, trespassers can trespass land without any prosecution because there's no law there to prosecute right. them. That's not right, Minister. Thank you. Thank you very much.